Welcome to Lightbulb Biology. I'm Mr. Corver, and today we are talking about the microscope. Take a look for yourself. Frank, I can't see anything. Use your open eye, Frank. Oh, yeah, I can see it now. So today, we are going to be looking at the microscope. And this is the model that we'll be using. Uh, it is an older model. It is going to work out just fine though. I did buy an additional item. This is made by Swift. It slips over the eyepiece and allows me to attach my phone to it to record what's going on uh, on my slides. I highly recommend it. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. I bought mine off of eBay for $30, but it's also uh, being able to be purchased on Amazon. So with that, we are going to also uh, need a PDF. There is a file that is linked below that is the lab that goes along with what we're doing today. It is on my Google Drive, free to download, free for you guys to use. My students use that exact uh, document that's there. And with all that, let's get started. I love using the cell phone as an introduction to the microscope. Placing the screen under there really gives some cool images of what a phone is actually made of. Here we're looking at an old phone and a new phone and you can see the evolution of the screen. So in the next couple slides we'll now look at how stuff moves underneath the microscope. Here I'm scrolling down and you can see the image moves up. Here I scroll up and the image moves down. Here I scroll to the left and the image moves right. And here I scroll to the right and the image moves to the left. to do is find the nastiest water around and then get the nastiest of the nasty water by getting this stuff at the very very bottom and placing that under the microscope because there are some really neat things that live in nasty water. So we're going to use the TPUC method. Number one, turn your microscope on. You would be surprised at how many people forget to do that and wonder why they can't see anything. Next step, make sure you select the correct power. I always want the lowest power that the microscope can handle because it allows me to find my specimen easier and it also won't dirty up a lens. As you can see here, this slide actually contacts the highest power we have here and that lens can get kind of dirty. So I'm going to go to our lowest power, which in this case is red or 4x. I will then up my stage. I will bring my stage all the way up and then center the slide. So that is the TPUC. Turn on, power, up the stage, center the slide.
Now you can use your microscope just the way it is, but what I like to add is somebody's cell phone light on the top, or in this case I've got an extra side light here, and you can see a major difference between the two microscope images just by adding some top light onto your stage. To figure out how strong your field of view is, you'll take the lens, which is in this case 4x, times it by the eyepiece, which is 10x, 4 times 10 equals 40 power. So your field of view here is zoomed in 40 times. The final thing you can do with your microscope is measure. If we assume that the microscope is 4 millimeters across our field of view, and say Ant-Man takes up half that distance, he would be 2 millimeters. Or you can take two Ant-Men, stack them, say two fit in there, divide that into four, and you would get 2 millimeters. And that's it. That's the microscope. I hope you enjoyed that. I know that I always enjoy putting some nasty pond water under there, trying to see what's living there. Like that worm thing, ugh, oh, disgusting. But other things, you know, pretty neat and pretty uh, amazing to see them swimming around under there. Next class, the plan is to look at graphing, and you might think, how the heck is graphing gonna be interesting? I have an activity that goes along with graphing. It does make it pretty interesting and hopefully you'll uh, wanna follow along with that as well. So that's it, and always remember that I'm just like you. I'm always trying to learn new things. I am gonna make some mistakes along the way, but I am gonna have fun doing it. So until next time, see ya.